Okay, welcome back to SiliconAngle.com's exclusive coverage of Hadoop World, Strata plus Hadoop World here in New York City. We are all over the, the coverage here. We're blogging, we're bringing video in. This is our wrap-up segment of day one. Uh, we were at IOD, Information on Demand by IBM earlier in the week. This is Big Data Week in New York City. And uh, for the wrap-up, we're going to have Dave Vellante from Wikibon.org and Jeff Kelly, Big Data Analyst from Wikibon.org, break down and summarize what happened in day one. Obviously, we had a lot of great interviews. We extracted a lot of signal from the noise and shared that with you on SiliconAngle.com. And those videos are available on YouTube.com slash SiliconAngle. A lot of great signal. Guys, a lot of great signal from the noise on theCUBE this, this uh, first day. Um, first, we'll go down the line. We'll start with Dave. Your analysis so far of one of the interviews and your vibe here and your view of the show on day one. Well, I think the first thing I would note about the event itself, John, is uh, Jeff and I were at the Strata Conference in New York last year, and it was uh, much more subdued than this. Uh, or, of course, we were at Hadoop World, and it was a lot of good action. So I think putting Hadoop World and Strata together, uh, O'Reilly has brought a lot of their professionalism, and certainly <laughs> Cloud has brought a lot of the customers, and so that's been a good combination. Uh, one of the themes that we talked about uh, early on at the top of the show was this no notion of unification, bringing you know, real-time capabilities to Hadoop, uh, unifying SQL and NoSQL, and we've seen that in spades. We saw Hadapt, who won the uh, Startup Award last night. They were on, um, a g getting a lot of buzz at the show. Uh, we saw Impala from Cloudera. We had Jeff Hammerbacher on talking about that. Hortonworks is, is, is working on similar things. We had MapR on, who is basically taking essentially open source components like HBase uh, and improving on them. And so we're seeing dramatically different models of people attacking the marketplace, and um, I think it's good. I think it's healthy. We're also seeing, you know, a lot of little food fights going on. You know, should you shard the data? Should you not shard the data? Where should you do ETL? Should it be inside the data warehouse Platform or outside the data warehouse? Platform versus provider. Platform versus provider. Exactly. And so that says to me, we're starting to make money at this. There's real deals going on because people are starting to, th you know, throw punches. <laughs> the claws are coming out. <laughs> money grabbers. Oh, the money's yeah. on the table. No, no, we're interested in the money. No, no, it's about the community. Open source. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. now they got to fight for the, <laughs> for the money. Competition. Yeah. New entrants. It's economics, yeah, it's Dave. That's great. And that drives innovation, and it, and it, dr and it drives great, prices Great down. ratings for the Cube, of course. <laughs> the action is great for the Cube, because we, we get to follow it all. Jeff, your assessment. Well, you know, following what Dave said, on both topics, kind of some, a little bit of the food fight and, the, and bringing the real time. I mean, we had Rainstore on today. This, we've been doing this for five years, bringing uh, kind of the SQL-like capabilities and on top of Hadoop. You can run SQL queries or MapReduce and do it in one platform. <coughs> uh, data stacks, you know, they take a different approach, but it's the same same end result, real time with Cassandra and the, the, the big uh, deep analytics uh, with Hadoop. So, uh, you know, we're starting to see some, you know, this whole this whole co-opetition thing is starting to get a little bit a little bit more uh, serious uh, on the uh, competition. Well, and to that angle. point, you you saw Cloudera put forth its new platform, mm -hmm. uh, Impala, <coughs> which does a lot of the things that its partners were doing with Cloudera, so it's it's not a shot across the bow, but it's definitely a, hey, heads up, we're mm -hmm. coming in that direction. Yeah, I think, what well, you what's your take exactly. on that? Exactly, as, as the Hadoop platform providers, distribu distribution advisor, uh, providers add some of these more real-time type, type capabilities, and you know, wait till they start doing some more of the streaming capabilities, and you know, that that's, question when that will happen if or if it will happen but as the platform matures you know the interactions or, or I should say the partnerships they have with the you know the MPP data warehouse players and some of the uh, relational data pl data pl warehouse players are going to be there's going to be a lot of stress on those relationships because if you can do those same ca capabilities within within a Hadoop cluster why do you need to why do you need a connector over to uh, a relational uh, database so you know we're not, I, I agree with you, it's not a shot across the bow because this is much a much longer story. I mean, this is a five to 10 year journey. Um, but that's the direction we're going. I mean, we hear it from everybody. It's going to be one platform. We're not going to, nobody wants to have two clusters to do your real time and another one to do your, your batch analytics. So that's the direction we're going. And, you know, it's going to take a while to get there, but you're going to see these relationships start to uh, evolve, to say the least. John, you were on, <laughs> on the big data trend back when Cloudera was raising seed money. You, know, you were early. Uh, to this to this world, you know, drag me in, and thank you for that, by the way. Uh, years ago, uh, and so, what's your take? You've seen it evolve now for the past several years. What, what do you see going on? Well, you know, I was early, you know, I'm a visionary, as you know, Dave. Uh, you are a trend spotter. <laughs> <laughs> visionary, pioneer, trend spotter. All the and I just love love playing with the early tech, um, and we pioneered SiliconANGLE, all the great stuff. So, you know, get that, you know, pat on the back. 
Seriously, we would not be allowed to bring this most excellent coverage of SiliconANGLE Wikibon to you without sponsorships and underwriters. And I want to just put a shout out to Cloudera, who's our headline sponsor for this uh, event. Um, thanks to Cloudera. Cloudera is the big data platform. And O'Reilly, they work on stuff that matters. They're the ones holding the event. MapR. MapR has really stepped up to be a commercial grade platform. They're doing things a little bit different. At first they looked at like a little quirky solution, but they're proving they have we legs. We were skeptical early on about MapR because we were saying, oh, closed source, there was this open source love. And you know, yeah. we heard their CEO t today saying, hey, I'm an impatient person, I wanted to solve a problem. So Well, they're impressive. You know, when you see them in action, you say, hey, these guys have chops, um, and they just have a different approach, but it turns out the market's growing, they made a good bet, and they're doing extremely well. Data stacks. Cassandra, they're shifting back to get back into solid state. They're doing some good work. Real customers, we had one of their customers yeah. on today. And, uh, and these are all companies that have financially supported us, endorsed us through contributions, and uh, we're maintaining our independent coverage. Hortonworks, Adapt, Opera, Squirrel, Tableau, Rainstore, and many, many more. Want to thank them all for supporting the cube over the over the years and for this show. Um, but Dave, to answer your question about big data, yeah, we've been there for a while, and. Um, Watching it grow has been great. Cloudera, um, no one really kind of understood Cloudera. In fact, Cloudera uh, was the name of the company. And people were like, oh, it's a Cloudera. And then uh, Hadoop really sprung into action. But they learned what we heard from Google. And that is the web scale companies like Yahoo and, and Google solved this big data problem. They had to. Just like the NSA did, but they couldn't tell anybody, right? <laughs> so um, they saw the vision, Amar Awadallah. Um, coined on the cube, one of our first cubes. He saw the future and created it. Now it's a completely big industry. So I'm excited to be part of it. I was there at the beginning, present at creation. Uh, we built our businesses around big data. So I'm excited. I think it's at the beginning. I personally think that we're going to see deals come out of these conferences, Dave, that are we're going to look back and saying, hey, remember when the industry is only a few thousand people? And that the core kind of entrepreneurial community was like a couple dozen? And that's where our relationships are formed. People are doing deals on handshakes. They have relationships. And I believe that the competition question is gonna get figured out because here's my opinion. If you have sharp elbows in this market and try to grab money too fast, you're gonna fail. I'll tell you why. Because it's a huge opportunity. I think that if I'm a startup and I'm a company out there that's playing in this space, don't be greedy. You can, there's plenty of beachhead for everybody. I mean, literally, there's so much growth that I think it's more of a, collaboration, people are going to try to find their spots, and as Dave, we've called it the NASCAR race. All the cars are kind of drafting off each other, someone's in the lead, and I think someone's going to slingshot eventually be the leader. There'll be a one, two, three in the, in the different categories, there'll be many categories, and I think that's why um, the capital it's markets are on fire right now over big data. It's an exciting time, I mean, uh, you know, in the early days, in the late 80s, early 90s, you, you wouldn't have been able to pick Oracle as the leader in database. I mean, it was a it was a crowded field. Sybase, Informix, certainly DB2 was still really, really you know a dominant player at the time. Oracle and 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 and, uh, and others. And it's like that today in this space. I mean, it's really hard to to pick who's going to win. And and the other thing, the other dynamic here is this market. And Jeff, you did the first market sizing report. This market is so much larger than anything we've 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 seen before. And I think the third dynamic here is that. The big whales in this business, they, they've they been disrupted before. You know, the, the PC guys killed the mini computer guys, and you know, the client server change thing, the internet guys, you know, really you know, d disrupted industries. The large companies that are out there, um, certainly guys like Oracle, IBM, EMC, they've seen this play before. They want a piece of that action, and they have a lot of cash, and they're poised to participate in this, and they're tugging you know, at the innovation. They're trying to take control of this. Th it, meanwhile, the industry innovation is, is, is bubbling, but certain, certain plays are going to be made, certain moves are going to be made in the chessboard that uh, could really shake things up. I want to ask Jeff Kelly question as we wrap up day one. This Hadoop world, Strata plus Hadoop world, you've been covering the space like a blanket. You were the first one to put the first uh, market research report out. You've been covering all the vendors. You know all the horses on the track. Um, did this meet up with your expectations? Um, and, and what's here, or what surprised you and what didn't surprise you? I think the sheer level of energy, the, 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 uh, the, the stream of announcements coming out of the show, I mean, it, it's just kind of boggles the mind uh, what's going on here today. I mean, keeping track of all the news is, is just uh, incredible. Uh, but what I think, you know, what it tells you is that some of the individual announcements may not be, uh, you know, you can't kind of keep all of them straight, but it, if you look, take a step back and do a big picture look, I think definitely some of the things around real time 
uh, we're talking about big data applications. Those are two areas we're really interested in. You know, what surprised me, you know, I think you know, we're seeing, I think uh, you kind of touched on it. We're, we're starting to see some more deals here. This is going to be, there's business being done here. This is not just a bunch of hackers talking about, uh, you know, hey, look at the cool data visualizations we can do. Now they're still doing that, but there are, there are real, real, real business being done here. And, you know, Dave, we were at IBM and, uh, you know, we, we kind of, it's an interesting contrast between the two, but one of the things that's similar, there's, da there's business being done in both, both, uh, both environments. And uh, to your point, you know, IBM, lots of acquisitions in the analytics space. Uh, they're starting to get their big data messaging together. Uh, you know, some of these some of these companies we're seeing today, uh, you know, are going to be acquired. There's going to be a, a, an acquisition uh, spree at some point. I think we're probably a little ways from that right now. Um, but it's really exciting times. Uh, I mean, there's just so much so much action. Uh, you know, there's so many big problems to solve and people coming at it from different angles, and it's just a really exciting time. So tomorrow we uh, will have a stacked lineup like we did today. There are some folks that we did not get in. I want to put a shout out to SAP. We're going to try to get you in tomorrow and a handful of other, f other folks we're going to try to get, get in. Uh, Microsoft, we might bring them in for a demo. They had a killer demo today that was very impressive with Excel. Uh, Hortonworks talked about that. So big day tomorrow here on SiliconAngle.com. It's theCUBE, flagship telecast. We have signal from the noise with wikibon.org. We'll see you tomorrow here at Strata plus Hadoop World. And thanks to Cloudera and MapR for helping us do this and a slew of other partners, including O'Reilly Media. Thank you very much, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>